I started a position at the um, hospital here in Pueblo. I didn't really notice him until one day, like I just wasn't being my bubbly self like I normally am. And he like asked me how I was doing and I was like, oh, I'm fine. And he's like, no, you're not fine. And I was like, you know, just guy drama. I'm just dealing with some guy drama, <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, so then he like, he started talking to me more and just kind of like really showed some real genuine interest. He actually cared. She put on kind of a bravado of who she was and she had a bad day one day I remember and I asked her, you know, like, oh, what's, what's wrong? What's bothering you? And she just, uh, looked at me and said, oh, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. And I was like, don't lie to me. I know something's wrong. And I think that was the moment that I like stood out in her eyes. But uh, um, once I got through that kind of tough outer shell, she's very generous and kind and welcoming. Like all of the family functions that I was invited to very early in meeting her. And she always made me feel like part of the family. After that, it was like, I don't know, like, I kept wanting to find excuses to talk to him. So like, and I was like trying to study for this test that I was taking to get my degree. And um, one of the things on it was math and I'm not good at math, like really terrible at it. And he's like a genius when it comes to math. So like, I would be like in the hall or whatever, just kind of like doing rounds or just like sitting there and he would come and like, teach me fractions and like we'd be like writing on the wall on this paper you know what I mean trying to teach me fractions and I'm like I mean I was learning for sure but more I was just like wanting to talk to him you know what I mean <laughs> and so like every time um he was there and he was around like I would kind of like seek him out you know what I mean like hey how's it going we met in, let's see, it was 2015, and uh, she offered to help move my stuff into my new apartment, and we ended up start dating after that, and <laughs> it was like the same day she gave me her number, I was texting her, and we went to Starbucks, so. Now, when, when was the first date? Was that like right after, or was it a few days later? It was the same day, so. <laughs> um. I like kind of went up to him and was like, hey, um, if you need help moving, like here's my phone number. And he was like, I have plenty of help. Like my dad's gonna be here. Like I don't, I don't know why I would need help. And I was like, well, you could just take my number just in case. And so he did. And then he ended up texting me like literally probably within like 20 minutes. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> we spent a lot of time in Glidland Springs actually when we got engaged. Um, we drove to the mountains of Redstone and Aspen and he's like well let's go to um, Zales and I was like all right so we go over there and we're in the parking lot and like he's like and I, I like looked at him and I was like like what are we doing like what kind of ring are we actually getting well I mean we had discussed it getting married a few times up to that point and we had uh, planned a trip out to Glenwood Springs and Aspen and we were enjoying the fall leaves and the changing colors and all the nice weather and, and uh, I hadn't planned it out to like make a big scene or anything like that. And so he like took a deep breath and like he was like, and I was just like, yes! I'm like super excited and I started crying and... Uh, I knew that that's what I wanted at that time and I just unexpectedly drove up to a jewelry store and said, do you want to get married? And uh, the rest is history. So. First uh, date together was at a Starbucks. Yeah. Do you remember what you guys ordered at the Starbucks? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, do? Well, oh no. You go first. Do you remember what she ordered and on the first day or or what you ordered? I mean I could probably guess. So uh 
caramel frappuccino. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. All right, your turn. Do you remember what he ordered? He had the same thing. Is that right? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Good girl. That's my girl. That's a good girl. And then what's her name again? Beretta. Beretta. Hold on a second. Hi, Nacho. Good boy. This is Nacho. He is about 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to tell you that I am super happy to have you in my life and I feel very blessed. And I can't wait to spend forever with you. Aww. It's going to be epic. And I want to say that you have vastly changed my life forever for the better. And I will always be grateful for that. And I look forward to the rest of eternity with you. Oh. Thanks for being here. I didn't like that. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> like it. I'm Christine. And I'm Brian. Thanks for celebrating with us. Yep. <laughs> I changed the one. What did I say? <laughs> I'm Christine. And I'm Brian. Welcome to our wedding. And thanks for being here. <laughs>